So the question says the area of an isosceles trapezium. What is an isosceles trapezium? The two non-parallel sides in this trapezium would be equal. So the area of this isosceles trapezium is 176 centimeters square, and the height is 2 by 11th of the sum of its parallel sides. So 2 11th of the sum of its parallel sides. If the ratio of length of the parallel sides is 4 is to 7, then the length of the diagonal is 28 root 137, 2 root 137, or 24. Let's look at the trapezium here, right? So this is an isosceles trapezium. Let, let's say A, B, C, D, right? Let us assume the length AB is, uh, you know, uh, X and the length uh, DC is Y. Remember the two non-parallel sides. These are two parallel sides. The two non-parallel sides are equal. Why? Since it is an isosceles trapezium, right? So what are the non-parallel sides? AD and CB. These two are equal. These two are equal, right? So AD will be equal to BC. Okay. And he says the area of this trapezium is 176 centimeters square. 176 centimeters square. Now you know that area of a trapezium can be taken as in this context, uh, you know, average of the parallel sides. So parallel sides are x and y. What is the average of the parallel sides? x plus y by 2 into the height h. Let us assume the height of the trapezium is h into h. If you read the next statement here, it says height is 2 11th of the sum of its parallel sides. 2 11th of the sum of its parallel sides. So this can actually be uh, simplified as follows, right? It can be taken as x plus y by 2 into height can be taken as 2 by 11 into x plus y. See, 2 11th of the sum of its parallel sides. Sum of its parallel sides is x plus y, right? So 2 and 2 gets cancelled here. So finally, we can say x plus y whole squared divided by 11 is equal to the area. What is the area? 176. Simplify. From this, we'll get x plus y whole squared equals 2. See, 176 can be taken as 16 into 11. 16 into 11 and multiplied by this 11 here. You're able to follow. This is 176. 16 into 11 is 176. And the denominator of 11 here, the denominator of 11 on LHS comes on the right hand side. So when you when you further simplify, what will come out to be the sum x plus y? X plus y will be six, six, you know, root over 16 into 11 into 11. So that is 4 into 11, which is 44. So the sum of the sides is 44. Now the next point: ratio between the length of its parallel sides. See the parallel sides are nothing but x and y. It's 4 is to 7. Length of the parallel side is 4 is to 7, right? So you know, strictly speaking, in our case, x will be 7 and y will be 4 because x is more than y, right? So we can say x is to y equals to, yeah, you're getting it. 4 is to 7 means what? x is, you cannot take x as 4 parts and y as 7 parts because y is clearly shorter than x. So y should be taken as 4 parts and x should be taken as 7 parts. So we can say x is to y equals to 7 is to 4. So you know x plus y and you know x is to y. From these two equations, can you solve for x and y? Yes. So what do we get? x, see total how many parts? 7 plus 4, 11 parts. And total value is 44. So 44, when you divide in 11 parts, each part will be 4. So x will be 7 parts, 7 into 4, 28. And y will be 4 parts, 4 into 4, 16. So we now know the two sides. x is equal to 28 and y is equal to 16, right? What is he asking us to find out? The length of the diagonal length of the diagonal is see now important points to be noted here right i'll just uh, clear this see the total length is 28 here the total length is 28 and here the total length is 16 i'm replacing x and y with the numerical values okay so this is 28 and this is 16. if you drop uh, perpendiculars from the points d and points c here let's say these points are e and f e and f right what will be the length EF? See, if DC is 16, EF will also be 16. Yes or no? Because these two are like uh, opposite sides of a rectangle. Yes or no? Parallel sides. CF and DE are parallel sides. EF and DC are also parallel sides. So clearly, if DC is 16, EF will also be 16. And you very well know that AE will be equal to FB. Why? This is an isosceles trapezium. See, it will be symmetric. It is generally very easy when the figure is symmetric. Isosceles trapezium is also symmetric. It is symmetric about y axis, right? So these two segments will be equal. Which segments? AE and FB. Now the total length is 28. Out of 28, 16 is the middle part, EF. So what is left out? 28 minus 16. 28 minus 16 is how much? Uh, it will be 12. 
Now that 12 has to be divided equally here. So I can say this is 6 and this is 6. You're getting it? 16 plus 6, 22 plus 6, 28. That's the point. Right? Now we have to find out the length of the diagonal. What will be the length of the diagonal? The length of the diagonal will be, let me just clear this 176 centimeter square here. Right? And also clear the you know marking for height. I, I don't have any more space left, so I'm doing all this clearance here. So we have to find out the length of the diagonal. The diagonal here will be AC. Yes or no? AC. Or you can also take BD. Both the diagonals will be equal, right? Both the diagonals will be equal. Now, if you understand ACF is forming a right angle triangle. ACF is forming a right angle triangle. Let me show it with a different color, right? ACF. ACF is a right angle triangle because we have dropped a perpendicular from the point C. This is 90 degrees. Right? What is CF? CF is nothing but the height. You remember? CF is nothing but the height, right? What is the height? As per the question, height here is 2 11th of the sum of its parallel sides. So height of this parallelogram is 2 by 11 into A plus B, which is 28 plus 16. So 20 plus 16, 44. 44 by 11 is 4 into 2, 8. Height is 8. So we can say that CF is going to be 8. Let me use red ink, right? CF is going to be 8, this length. What about AF? This length AF, 6 plus 16. 6 plus 16, how much? 22. So AF is going to be 22. That's it. We need to find out AC. AC will be what? Root over 22 square plus 8 square. Simplify and you get the answer. You're able to follow. So I would say the diagonal. I'm doing all the diagonal calculations in red. So that is the reason that right angle triangle is shown in red. The measurements are also shown in red. Root over 22 squared by Pythagoras theorem, right? Plus 8 squared. So 22 squared is 484, 484 plus 8 squared is 64. So that will be like 484 plus 64, which is 548, root over 548, 548. Now simplify root over 548. See, so this can be taken as 548 can be taken as 4 into 137, 4 into 137. 548 is 4 into 137 and square root of 4 is 2. So 4 comes outside, we'll get 2 and this is 137. So the final answer will be 2 root 137, option 3 and not option 2. Right, option 3 will be the correct answer, 2 root 137. So some of you had marked option 2, root 137, which is wrong, right? 2 root 137 is the correct answer, option 3. So looks to be lengthy, but when you cut down, uh, you know, a few steps here, it becomes easy. Like, like, for example, if you see, you don't have to write this formula on paper, right? Area is this, and, and you can, in fact, mentally do this calculation and understand that area is going to be x plus y whole square by 176. So start from this, get x plus y whole square. It comes out to be, four. I mean, x plus y comes out to be 44, and the ratio is 7 to 4. So 28 and 16 are the sides, and after that, work on the uh, figure drawn to get the required answer. So option 3, 2 root 137 is the correct answer for this question.